Ladies and gents, welcome to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is The Medium. Before we jump into it, two quick reminders. First, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button down below and use the notification bell. That way you know when I'm uploading new videos. Secondly, a quick reminder that you are an awesome person. So, be awesome to others. Alright? Alright. Let's jump in and find out where this game is going now. So apparently, we had our own fallout shelter underneath the house for reasons. Uh, I'm guessing by that red light, that door is locked. Green light says that door is open. And then this airlock door cannot be manipulated. Fair enough. It's one way to stop me from going wherever I want. What else in here? Anything I can tinker with? Uh, I see something I can tinker with right there. What we got? Here's what crossed out I know. Here's what I think I know. The powers come from the same place, but they can manifest in different ways. She seems to exist in both places, as if her mind can inhabit two bodies at the same time. To her... Whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they the one and the same? New hypothesis. Death thins out the veil between worlds so that a newborn mind never has to split. Makes sense in a weird, effed up way. Okay. So I guess this is... Hmm. Hmm. Is this his way of trying to understand Marianne's powers? Maybe? That's the best that I've got, at least, is he's trying to understand how she's able to do things in both worlds while he had to, like, his world kind of split in two. There's something I can do here. Hey. I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Okay. Weird fascination with butterflies. Cool. Anything else? Apparently not. There's shelves over here. Of course, the camera angle is so weird, it makes it hard to really explore. Oh, wait, something in here. Antibiotics, neuroleptics, antidepressants. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. Yeah, that is going kind of heavy on the pill count. See anything else over there? There's some kind of panel over here with a green light, which I assume I can play with. No, don't do this to me. Okay. Burnt to a crisp. Guess I should look for a spare. Cool. That's good news. Alright. Uh, wouldn't happen to be a spare along stacked up over here, would there? No? Worth a shot. Uh, is there a spare on any of the shelves? All this other random stuff, but no spare fuses, huh? Hmm. I 
doubt he had a spare fuse inside the medicine cabinet. Be an entertaining place to keep it, but... Alright, well, I can't do anything with that. But that did open this door. So that's... something. I'm not going to say it's a good thing, because it might not be. We might have wanted to leave that door shut. Uh, let's see here. I mean, there's some various tools right there. But not any of the kind that I apparently need. Whoa! What on earth hit this? Busted open. From the inside. Again, what on earth hit that? Oh, there's your fuse right there. But I want to go in here really fast. If someone tells me if I take that fuse out, I'm going to lose access to this room. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. Oh. She'd be a grown woman by now, but the room is still all dolls and unicorns. a valid point, assuming that she stayed alive until this point. Little windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine doesn't really translate to text, though. True. Again with the salt. The whole room is lined with it. Trying to keep something out or keep something in? Imagine being locked up in this place. Having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. You didn't deserve this, Yuli. What on earth? Salt. Who knew it was that simple? Bit of alchemy, some spiritual infusion, and there you have it. Looks like the folk tales were true after all. Anyway, the room is ready, and it works. It actually works. For the first time in my life, I can feel alone. It feels fucking wonderful. Huh. So, who was being kept here? Because that didn't read like Lily. That didn't read like a little kid, you know? And these definitely aren't a little kid's possessions. over here. Ah, oh, yes. I doubt there's anything new in there that would get exposed when the lights go out. Right? It wouldn't be. Yeah, nah. Just making sure that turning out the lights didn't somehow cause something new to appear. Alright. So we have our fuse. Let's try not to blow it this time. D 
do 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 Oh, wow. So whatever this one's doing, it draws a lot of power. Gotcha. So what did that do out here? Anything? Did that open any doors? Doesn't seem to have opened anything up. Hmm. So what's the point of that then? Or is this just a puzzle to get all four of them turned up at the same time without blowing it? That might be what this is. Alright. So that one has the smallest amount of effect? Or is it this one? So those two have fairly small effect. That one's the smallest. So we do that one. Hmm. We're going to push it up into the red. to find out, right? That's borderline red. Ooh. What does that do? Anything? Apparently not. So it's not actually changing anything outside. Oh my god, that's... Alright, sure. Oh, this door opened. Nice decor. Very... Uh, minimalist. That's a good way to phrase it. Doesn't seem to be much in here. Huh. Mold. It looks pretty fresh. Someone's been here recently. It's quiet now. Just me and her. Just me and her. Feels strange, but in a good way, how it should be. I best enjoy it while it lasts. I already started moving the workshop over to the hotel. If anything happens, I don't want her anywhere near it. I'm going in soon to get him back. 
This only ends in one of two ways. Either both of us are coming back or neither. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. If I find enough pieces, I might be able to get to the other side. Better get to it, Alice. Eh, Alice. Nice. Play on the old Lewis Carroll. Okay, here's one. So far, so good. The old Lewis Carroll tale. Uh, da, 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 da. Any more? Would it be nice enough to actually leave everything right in here? Probably not. Nope. It looked like I was needing about three of them. Did he leave any of it over here? Kind of doubt it, but you never know. Tuck a piece inside of it, maybe? No? Alright, maybe not. at all okay let's go look down the hall I guess wait a minute this is new got ourselves a bathroom I was kind of wondering how he was there. doing that kind of stuff another one Okay, so we got a bathroom. Oh, he's got like a... I guess it's a washer in here. Oh, that's not creepy. Yeah, that toilet probably hasn't been cleaned in a while. I don't see any more fragments over here. Uh, but we got another greenlit door over here. So what do we Looks have like over he here? could never quite let go of his passion. In another life, perhaps. Okay. Books on architecture. Give. What is this letter? She almost saw me today. Sensed me. I should have known. I need to be more careful. Keep my distance. Crossed out. It's just that... Crossed out, I just, not a day goes by that I don't think of her. Crossed out, I think, correction, I know I did the right thing, leaving her at the hospital. It's better this way, she's better this way. But I keep thinking of that day, when it finally happens, when she discovers what she really is. She'll be confused, afraid. I should be there for her, to help her make sense of it all, to tell her that it's all right. No, she'll make it through. She's strong, just like her mother. I don't know, man. I don't know. Just because somebody's strong doesn't mean that they don't need help. Especially when dealing with something that's so wildly out of the blue, like Mary Ann's abilities. Last well, goodbye, Jack Orkin. Don't.
Hmm. So he had contact information for where she was at. Okay. Should be enough. Let's make magic happen. Something tells me it's not going to be a magical reunion. I could be wrong, but I, I just got a bad feeling about it. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? That's actually not a bad question. Hypothesis. When experiencing trauma, the soul can split into two separate entities in order to mitigate the damage. Observation. The entities can remain agreeable or turn hostile towards each other. How to destroy one without destroying the other? Hmm. Interesting question. That one. Yeah, it's very worrying that that a freaking fallout shelter style bunker door that big got blown apart from the inside that's just one really powerful bit of psychic energy in so far as this game is concerned all right uh what do i think works about down there best Probably this piece. And this one's got the little pointy end. Yeah. And then... This one is the last one, so... And there it was. The moment we finally met. in a way means you're the other one the spirit but the hound I thought you were gone gone no no trapped no, no, I, I spent years in Henry's Fucked up world. Oh, yeah. If only you listened to my way, I could. I could finally break free. That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? Where is my father? I, I don't know. I've been away for so long. If you 
Would you, would you stay here for a moment? Tell me uh, how from all this started. So this is the thing we've been getting glimpses of, of her sitting there talking to someone, but we couldn't tell who. Nice to get some confirmation there. What happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. It keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. What do you mean? She's a medium too, Mother. A powerful one. This is one of my friends. When Richard... When Richard hurt her, it awoke something inside her. matter of time before it got out. What your father feared. What he tried to avoid. That's why he called me. But that means... Yes. He's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Maria. Where is she? Where is my sister? As long as I can. I'm not leaving you. Sorry. <gasps> it's 
So he's going to make the self-sacrifice play to try to stop that demon thing, which apparently grew inside of Lily after Richard hurt her. It was created inside of her by that trauma. It's a heck of a shove to get her all the way out here. Make your way to the lake. In due time. We're just getting massive reveal after massive reveal after massive reveal. So the spirit version of Thomas is still okay. He wasn't strong enough to get out of Henry on his own. But he was able to get out when Marianne banished the weird monster thing that Henry was. Interesting. That whole encounter sounds intriguing. And then... Apparently the big demon guy is actually a result of the trauma that Lily went through. So now, but in order for it to still be alive, that means Lily is still alive, somehow. Which I'm assuming Lily is sadness. I'm guessing that's her spirit side. I'm a little curious about where her physical side would be. If there's a way to get to that and save it. I don't know, every episode of this game gets wilder and wilder. So, it's a sign of a good game, right? A good storyline. So, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Help keep the YouTube overlord happy. And if you want to find out what happens in the next episode, or just keep up with whenever I'm uploading new videos, well, use the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.